Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was starting to get this podcast off the ground, I had a lot of questions. How do I record an episode? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and all the other places people like to listen? How do I make money from my podcast? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors too, so you can get paid to podcast. The reasons I use Anchor is to distribute my podcast to Apple and Spotify and to get paid. So if you always wanted to start a podcast and make money doing it, go to anchor.fn slash start. That's anchor.fn slash start to join me in the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fn slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Welcome to Positive Mind Zone Podcast. This is your host, Ken Kenneth McKinney, and we're back with another episode. What's up, everybody? Today, I want to talk about people and their expectations of you. And I had this conversation I want to talk about since probably last month, but a conversation with my mom yesterday like triggered it. And I'm like, okay, now I can put this, what I want to talk about, into context. And people and their expectations of you start like basically the day you your parents realize you were born whether you gonna be a boy or a girl they like they got the expectation as a boy if he may be a basketball player or whatever football player girl she could is she gonna be a doctor what's their name gonna be like they already there's expectations already being placed on you then as you're born and you, you become yourself like it doesn't stop there like your friends got expectations the school got expectations there's grades you gotta like like everybody is placing these expectations on yourself and recently this conversation with my mom she was placing some of her expectations expectations on me and it was me being more famous and i'm like where's this coming from for one like you know I don't care about fame and the fame I do want is like it's coming and like but where is it coming from from my mom like do she see something I, I, I don't and I understood where she was coming from but I also wanted to like get to the root of her life well, like why do she do she feel like I'm not famous and like at all like do she feel like I'm lame or something like, like what was she trying to say but it caught me off guard because I didn't expect it. And what it, came, what it came down to was, like, she feels like I should be seen more because I'm a positive person. Like, she don't, she feel like I shouldn't be hiding my, like, like not being on camera. But I'm like, I don't want to be that. I never want to be just on camera. That's never been me. And she was acting like, are you scared? Or like, is it, like, I'm like, Ma, if I don't want to do something, like, I'm not going to do it. But she was trying to place her expectation, like, no, you should, like, just take my advice. And I'm like, in the back of my head, well, I, it wasn't in the back of my head. I told my mom, I'm like, I'm not about to take your advice. Like, if I, me looking at your life and, like, not to say she's in a bad life, but me just basing off the decision she's made in her life and the advice I be giving her, and she, most of the time she don't take it, but she ended up finding out the hard way. But I'm like, ma. I'm not about to really try to take your advice when I've already got my plan set. And a lot of times people don't have a plan. So the expectation that people's placing on them, they like abiding by them. They, they're following that. And I did that for the longest time. The, when people say, hey, you should do that. I did it. Like, you know how many times people say, hey, you should do trucking. Then I eventually did it. Or you should do YouTube. I tried to do YouTube. It didn't work. Nobody actually said, hey, you should do a podcast. I, this is my decision. This is basically one of my choices. Going into the military, uh, what's that? I, I was following my brother, so I don't know if that was truly my decision, but it was my decision to go to the Marines. So, like, I couldn't tell them no, but still, 
people are placing expectations on you from the day you were born and it's just it's basically you're being a slave to what someone else wants for you out there out your life and it's probably i don't know i don't know why my mom truly wants me to be famous like is it gonna benefit her i mean yeah i could see how it would because i speak of her more highly than my brother does and like the way he be talking about her be so negative like so i could understand where she comes from but at the same time i was telling her hey you should get on like the internet yourself and tell your side of the story but she was like, no, nah, I need somebody big to, uh, to platform to talk about it. I'm like, no, you don't. All you got to do is get on the camera and go live and do it. Like, it may not get as many views as you want. Like, and that's with me. Like, that's why I probably, I don't be on camera that much because when I do post on YouTube, like, it only get a couple of views. So I'm like, man, I ain't about to be uh, posting content with getting little numbers but i gotta understand like every little number count that means it's like one person there's one person out there that wants to see it it's, it was always more than one person but it's like i getting my now my understanding like i'm having an epiphany like it doesn't matter about how small the number is like because it eventually it's gonna grow eventually it's gonna catch on but even if it don't Still, it's the effort that I put into it, but I don't, once again, I don't care about being on camera. But once again, does that boil down because of the numbers? Hmm. Now, I might have to meditate on that, but still, those expectations that people be placing on you, like, it never truly stop. <laughs> Even when you're getting in marriage, you're like, your wife or your husband is expecting you to be a certain way. And that's not the case for my relationship. Me, and I'm thankful to say, like, I'm finally in a, a spot, in a place in life where I truly say what's on my mind. Like, I don't place no expectations on my wife. Like, like I realize overall, I got a little bit of narcissistic ways. And we all do. It's not just me. But most of the time, it's pointed out in certain, certain individuals. And then they're looked at as overall being narcissistic people. But that's not the case. We just have some parts of us that could be uh, negative we have parts of us that's positive that's, that goes with anything that, that's life period you gotta have the good with the bad there's not one person that's just all positive even though I say positive minds only like there's still negative thoughts that come like but I do can stop those thoughts but that's another story but anyways I forgot what I was talking about so my goal, oh, I, I, I didn't remember what I was talking about, but something did pop up. My goal is to every day just try to talk for at least seven minutes on, like, on the podcast. That's what I'm going to try to do every single day. And, you, I don't know, every time I say something, I eventually do it, but I don't do it off the back. But eventually, I would try to do every day I will, I'm going starting from today I'm going to try to do every day at least 7 minutes 10 minutes it ain't even got to be that long I ain't got to talk for that long I just like for my morning when I wake up just I say what's on my mind and then just post it go about my day Dang, I'm so used to being uh, talking for 30 minutes 45 minutes an hour but I'm like nah, I ain't got to do that I'm going to start, I look at my podcast as music. So when I do my podcast, it's like I'm in a studio and I'm in my comfortable space. So that's another reason why I don't record because I'm not always in a presentable fashion when I'm talking on my podcast. Like right now, I'm still in my pajamas, basically. So it's like, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't feel like getting dressed up, brushing my hair and doing like, like, that's a hassle sometimes even though eventually i do that but i mean that does i mean i'm having another epiphany i can't do that that would make me get up early get dressed instead of being in my pajamas until whenever and then start my day whenever but that goes around with me not having 
structure as far as having a nine to five and having a boss or having a, something that I have to do. Like my life is like I run my life. So when I feel like doing stuff, I, that's when I get to it. But as far as like the podcast, I do. If I'm going to do it on camera, if I'm going to be on camera, that's going to make me be more up. It's going to I can see how I could, the positives behind that and the benefits with it. doing this little project. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to test it for 30 days. 30 days. But I'm going to let y'all know if I do this and I'm on camera, like, don't expect for me to have on a different outfit every day. Like, for real. I don't. That's not what's in my closet. <laughs> Bruh, my, my, I got clothes, but I'm not about to be trying to look fresh every single video or whatever like that's not me I'm like I'm not about to s I mean it's for, this is a business I am a business so I can't invest in my clothing but I don't like to spend money on just my clothing like when I invest in my money I like to invest in stocks I like to invest in food <laughs> I like to invest in uh, just my ideas uh, my businesses so another thing weed I don't know where I'm going maybe this is a time for another conversation I'm gonna go with like we're gonna talk about weed in another maybe we could do that tomorrow when I'm on camera so we're gonna just end that here this is not a long episode like I said I'm starting something new so for 30 days starting today I'm gonna talk I'm going to get on camera and then I'm going to do my podcast and maybe it's going to be short. It's not going to be long. So I don't, y'all got to, we got to sacrifice something like, cause I ain't going to be able to talk to y'all an hour every day or 30 minutes every day. I mean, I could, but I don't want to place too much on my plate. <laughs> my mom already said that's what I do, but I'm like, man, I got to keep myself busy. So I automatically get up early every morning so all I gotta do is brush my teeth get take care of myself get dressed and come in my office and cut the camera on that's all I gotta do all I gotta then clean up that's another thing I hate doing I hate tr- trying to clean up my office trying to like, get everything but that's what comes with being in structure being in order so hey this is a thing I'm taking on full project I'm taking on and I may not be successful but if I skip a day that I have to start over from uh, I have to start over so if I do five days in a row and I skip one day I've got to start back over from day one so that's how I'm gonna do it like that's how early night Nightingale talking about you like listen to this video I mean listen to this recording for 30 days and if you stop one day start back over so hey ain't no telling how long this project is gonna take but the initial day is like for the next 30 days your boy is trying to get on camera if he's gone i'm gonna do it i'm gonna put myself out there and that this is actually me conforming to what my mom wants even though i'm saying hey i'm gonna do what i want but hey i'm testing myself because i feel like hey am i am i afraid am i like well, what is holding me back? There's really nothing holding me back from getting on camera. It's just myself. So, anyways, I told my mom every time I talk to her, like, it flip. I mean, a conversation pops up. And that happens with my mentor. Like, that happens with a few people who I talk to. Like, every time I talk to them, an idea comes up. And, I mean, I think that just happens when I talk, period. I mean, Ain't that the point when you're talking to somebody that makes you think or they say something that triggers and then the idea comes up? Or is that just me? And once again, I'm rambling, but this episode was really about people placing their expectations on you. And for me, I feel like I'm conforming to what someone else and what the world wants. Because she wasn't the only one who said it. There's like three other people who said, yeah, you should be more famous. So I'm like, well, if people saying I should be more famous, then they finally take notice to what I'm doing. And three years ago, that wasn't the case because I thought I was supposed to be way more famous three years ago. 
and people are like, nah, what you doing is whack, you crazy, you don't believe in what we believe in, uh, nah, you on to something else, so I'm like, now people are like, nah, you on to something, so, there's the contradiction in that, but, once again, I'm gonna start this, and then for the next 30 days, I'm gonna put myself out there, see how it goes. Like I said, don't expect for me to be rocking a different outfit every day. That's not going to happen. <laughs> but peace. Uh, yeah.